Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. First of all, I want to thank you for organizers for such a great organization. And I'm very happy to be in Doha to present the Digital Islamic Bank structure and mechanism by the experiences that we gain uh, our for interest-free digital bank in Europe, in Germany, Insha. Have you ever heard Insha? Is there anyone? Okay, no one. Then, this presentation is a gathering the data, theoretical topics, and also practice that we implemented by establishing our digital bank in Germany. So according to Thomson Reuters report, The three important points that we can see, the Muslim population will increase. The Muslim population is younger. At the end of the five years, the Islamic finance will expand. So according to this, now you are looking at number of companies. Unfortunately, there is no an Islamic digital bank among these banks. These are the first examples of digital only banks in the Europe, UK, and US. So, now I will tell you uh, what's the requirements of establishing a digital bank. I will divide into two categories. First one, technical requirements. The second one is spiritual requirements because spiritual requirements is important as the other technical requirements. First of all, everything, the transparency, clean capital, and Sharia compliance of operation and products. Second one, the regulation. Many countries don't have Islamic banking regulation, so this can be seen as a challenge, but is also an opportunity to enter these markets. The APIs and open banking is not uh, a necessity to establish a digital bank. It's very really helpful to create new business models with your system. Technical infrastructure, as you know, commercial banking and Islamic banking is a little different core banking requirements. So you need a you need a infrastructure comply with parts of Islamic banking. According to Deloitte's reports, there's eight approximately eight hundred functionalities to establish a digital only bank. So information gathering, you you should declare all information gathering to your customers. The other one, account opening. This process should be via digital channels. The customer onboarding, this is the hardest point. It's the most difficult uh, part of a digital banking, customer onboarding. It should be di fully digital if we want to say a digital bank. day to day banking, so every data, this is the importance of the APIs. Every data, should be day to day uh, on the customer's mobile app. Exploration cross sell should be uh, available in your digital platforms, and the end relationship customer should have freedom to close or open accounts via digital channels again. So, if you're a digital bank, you should implement all of this marketing strategy because you don't have any branch, you don't have any agent, you don't have any ATM. Understand the market while we are building Insha. For for example, German market, 80% of people make their payment with cash. So if you want to sell in this market credit card, you probably fail. Innovation approach: If you are planning to establish a digital bank, your target audience will be a digital native. So they want to use the latest technology. You, you should innovate continuously. Your team should be open to collaboration and cooperation to create new financial business models. I think this is the most significant point, understanding Muslim millennials, if we are preparing a digital bank for them. Millennials are a little bit different, so they are interested in Islamic finance. When we look at, for example, baby boomers, uh, for more than six months, they 
save, uh, save more than millennials, but millennials uh, has a uh, save and buy cycle. Already millennials using conventional models of uh, digital banks. They don't, uh, they like texting. If you call your millennial customers, uh, they don't like it. Even if you are producing new products every year, but we can see that the customers uh, most used, most frequently used uh, activities, check account balance, charge and internal transfers. So the experiences should be perfect in these areas. Millennials is more likely to switch their banks. They, when they experience a negative experiences, directly leave their banks. So smartphone and app tablet uh, using uh, in these uh, generations. As I mentioned, millennials more likely to prefer key notifications. So if you are establishing a digital bank, you should established according to these realities. The most important challenge, not the regulation uh, or market or anything, old school thinking, I think, because regulation follows innovation. Okay, I, I will present you a case study, Insha, our first digital, uh, first interviewing in Europe. I was the project leader. I was uh, managed from idea conception to now it's uh, increasing the customer number one 1,500 customer has in Germany. So as Albareca, we have a digital transformation. During this research, we aware that there are different banks in Europe, UK and uh, Europe. We saw that they have no branch, they have, they have no ATM, but they have millions, millions of customers. When we look deeply, we saw that there is a European digital banking market. So, Muslim population in Europe, 20 million. 8 million Turkish people, who will serve them? Islamic finance? No one. The Muslim population in Europe is growing. They are younger. They are not satisfied with current banking experience because they don't want a Islamic window of a conventional bank. These are the research we in Germany, for example, it is the real customer feedbacks. At the end of the day, we decided to establish a digital only bank in Germany, fully digital. We chose the hack the system model, the white label model, by using a core banking structure of a German partner as APIs. It's the first share compliant digital only bank in Europe. So as you see, it's any customer can open an account in eight minutes, just using mobile phone. Check account balance, money transfers, debit card, money transfers, and Turkish, German, English, uh, language support, very soon Arabic will we add. And also, this should be not only bank, it should be assistant. The Moscow Map, the card calculation, pre-reminder, a fresh website to informative because you don't have any branch agent, you should give all information on your website, a vertical debit card. Even you are digital, you need a call center because it's very important for uh, any customers to reach if any problem, uh, if face any problem. The money transfer uh, and compliance for operation because customers ask these certificates so much why your product is halal. And it's very easy to power off digital. We have four people working in Germany and we have 1,500 people. Why? Because we are sitting in our office and we are aware that 20 people become our customer today. So it's very interesting when you uh, compare it traditional banking. Insha means to build in Turkish also refers to inshallah. And also inshallah we will expand the whole Europe. Thank you very much. If you have any technical and questions. Thank you very much for you, Mr. Kamal.